right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back, uh, back again on the ITS YouTube channel. Uh, today we're going to do a quick demo of how you use autopilot to try to answer a few questions and clear up some of the rumors that are out there. So right now, uh, I'm driving a car, you know, normally got a, uh, you know, one hand on the steering wheel, foot on the gas, and, uh, you can see the lines, white lines that are on the dash here. And, uh, you can also see a car that I'm approaching here shows up in my lane. Um, these are all the readings that, you know, autopilot uses. You can see the little blinker turned on from my right hand, right hand, uh, lane change. You can see the car next to me and it does actually show the car. I'll see if I can catch the next one, but, um, you can also see right there. It tells you what the speed limit is, uh, 65 and we'll go ahead and switch lanes. So you can see how it shows up on radar. There's a truck coming up right here and if he comes over another lane which i don't think he is okay there he goes so he should pop up on my radar here in a second as soon as he gets into the lane and there you can see it there so this is what the car uses and that's the truck right there this is what the car uses to um to gauge you know how fast you should go if he were in front of me it would slow down automatically and if he cleared the way, it would speed up automatically. And it also follows the turns and whatnot. So I'm gonna go ahead and engage it. Um, autopilot, you can't, it's not like you just set it and the car just does everything by itself. Um, that's the fully autonomous. You can see the car just passed me and you see it shows up on the radar. So anyway, um, it's not like you just push a button and all of a sudden the car just starts driving itself. All right, I did that by accident. I actually put it in neutral, so. Um, anyway, a little easier to view here. So anyway, um, all you do is you get to a speed that you wanna to go to and you pull your cruise control stalk twice. So if I pulled it once, that would set my cruise control. See, it has it set there, the blue circle, at 81. And I'm sorry for the uh, bouncing back and forth, but that's, you know, I'm in the car. So anyway, you pull the stalk once, you got your normal cruise control, and what you'll, what you'll see will happen here is it's approaching a car in front, and because it is still adaptive cruise control without autopilot, it's gonna slow down so I don't run into the back of the car that's in front of me. Now this is just normal cruise control. This is not autopilot. Sorry about that, we'll try to get a good view. But if I go ahead and I pull the stalk twice, now mind you, I've already set cruise control at 81. The car won't let me go faster than 75 because of the proximity to the car in front of me. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it twice and you'll see that little blue steering wheel on the right side of the 78 kick in. So now I'm in autopilot. You can see it says, please keep your hands on the wheel. It is still beta. But right now we're following the car and you can see the blue lines that show up. That shows the lane that I should be in. And we'll, you know, that there again is the car. You can see the traffic lane. So now you can see we're on autopilot and we're coming up to a little bit of traffic here. So you can see I set it at 80 just so I could come up to the back of this truck. And you'll see how once it gets close, it'll actually start to slow down. And it's picking up the cars that are in the other lane. It should pick up the car that's coming up on my uh, driver's side here in a second. And then we'll initiate a pass and we'll pick back up to our normal speed. Uh, the other thing I wanted to catch is the alerts that you get. Um, you get little uh, warnings or you know commands on the steering wheel that say, you know, grab the steering wheel, let us know that you're still uh, alive. So there's the lane change. So now you can see it's following this car now. And because that car is going a little bit faster, now it picks up my speed and it'll pass the truck that I was behind. And you know, that's pretty much it. That's, that's autopilot summed up.
that little, um, I don't know what you want to call that, the little cone that showed up on the side of the car, that's the radar in the, uh, the doors or the side of the car picking up the, um, picking up the car that's next to me. So now we're actually coming up to a stop sign. So you can see the autopilot is applying the brakes with the car in front of me. It's actually picking up two cars in front. If you can look and see on the dash, there's a uh, second car that's there, but uh, autopilot will come to a complete stop if it needs to, but the light dropped green. So now we'll continue through the intersection and the car uh, will slowly accelerate back up to the cruise speed. Again, giving itself space for the car that's in front. Um, but still, you know, getting back up to the cruising speed that I had it set to. And, um, you know, that's what it does. It's not a, um, you know, it's not this robot that's going to take over control of the car. It's reading the lane markers. It's reading the car in front of me just with cameras and radar. And it's making the best judgment call based on, you know, how you should be driving. You know, you want to stay in the middle of the lane. You don't want to be within, you know, two car spaces of the car in front of you not going to go faster than 80 miles an hour and until I tell it to do something else that's what it's going to do it's going to follow the traffic line and you know get me to the spot so we haven't seen a uh, a warning yet and what I've actually noticed is that um, the more input that the system has and when I say input I'm talking about cars like this and lane uh, lane markings that are good um, the more information it has to process, the less times you have to grab the steering wheel. So now we're coming up to another light change. Um, yeah, the light just dropped red, so you'll see that the cars in front of me are stopping. You'll see autopilot stopping, and you know, it's, uh, it's pretty good. It's applying the brakes. It'll come to a complete stop if we all stop and it will still be engaged in autopilot. Now we got another green light, which is what my commute is. It's just straight shots, and if you're lucky, you don't get any red lights, but you know, most of the time we do. But, um, you know, the car will do this all day and all night, which is the, the part that I like and why I say it's a benefit to anyone that has a commute. You know, now I'm driving at, you know, 10.30 at night on a Sunday, and you know, now there's an alert. See there it says, hold steering wheel all I did is touch the steering wheel just a little bit and it went away you can also see that it had the uh, sides of the of the dash that kind of had that white glow you'll see that every once in a while um, and it's just a test it's a way that says hey you know let us know you're still aware let us know you're still conscious and you know can take control of the car if needed if I were to miss those alerts the system would turn off and it would slowly, the car would just pretty much come to a stop um, and pull to the side of the road. And then I wouldn't be able to use it again until um, I put the car in park. So, um, you know, like I said, it's following a curve here. You can see we're coming up to a curve in the road. Uh, it's gonna go from two lanes to one lane. Now you'll see it's gonna lose the line right there. And I knew that usually happens because it's, it goes from two lanes to one lane. I usually catch that because I'm talking. I missed it, but you know, that's a limit. That's a limit to autopilot. If you go from two lanes to one lane, it'll swerve a little bit and it'll catch the lane back. Um, you know, and usually I'm ready for it and I was that time too. Um, you know, and that's, you know, it's, it's not perfect. Uh, but once you know what it can and can't do, you can set yourself up. Now, I would have been in a better spot if I was in the uh, the right lane because the right lane would have still had a marker versus the left lane. All I have is the two lane, uh, the two guidelines, two yellow lines. So you'll see here, actually, I think we already missed it, but because it's a lane change here, the speed limit dropped to 60. So I'm gonna cancel autopilot because I got a bunch of traffic behind me. Autopilot won't let me go past 60 on this area of the highway because it's a two lane and the speed limit is 55. So if I were to try to set it, it automatically says you're going too fast. 
um, and it'll slow me down to 60 unless I actually step on the gas pedal while I'm driving to force it to go above 60. And you can do that, but you know, somewhere in the black box is recording that, hey, this guy is asking autopilot to go faster than it's supposed to go. But you know, this is just part of the commute. You know, 75 is probably safe. The car behind me wants to do 80, the cars in front of me are doing 80, so I'm gonna do 80. Someone else will get the ticket before it gets to me. So anyway, that's autopilot. Um, we'll see if something else comes up, and then uh, you know we'll stop it and you know let me know if you got any questions or anything, or see how else it works. This is regular driving right now. You can see there's no line, no blue lines, no uh, indicators. This is just me driving the car. So that's the difference between regular driving and autopilot. So. Um, let me know what y'all think. Let me know if you have any questions or any other situations. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about the speed limit section of autopilot, which, you know, it's, it's, it's safe, I guess, because it won't let you go too far past the posted limit. But, you know, sometimes it, it kind of, it hurts the, uh, the flow of traffic. But, you know, we'll talk about that later. Um, hopefully y'all like this video. If you subscribe, if you haven't subscribed already, um, Drop me a note in the comments, and uh, I'll be back with y'all in a little bit. All right, so I'll show you here real quick. It's gonna start to alert me. See how the dash is blinking? If I don't grab the wheel, it's gonna cut off autopilot. It's telling me I need to grab the wheel. Still nothing. That's two warnings. Now that's it. And notice that the car is slowing down. And it'll eventually come to a stop and pull off to the side of the road. Now, I'll take over, but you know, once it gets to a stop, it'll it'll pull to the right, at least from what I've heard. I haven't seen it yet, but uh, the car will come to a complete stop if there's no intervention. So again, um, you know, if you were to fall asleep or if you're driving from the back seat or whatever the case is, you still have to be here and you still have to be in the car able to take control. If you don't, that's what's going to happen. Um, and even with that happening, you still have, uh, the autopilot feature. So if you were to come up to a, a car, you know, it would stop. Um, it still sees the road markings. It's going to know what, what's in front of you, what's on the sides of you. And you know, make the best driving decision, figuring that the driver is no longer conscious. And, uh, you know, when you drive it normally, it takes over and does 90% of what you have to do, which is just maintaining speed and maintaining position in traffic. Um, it's not fully autonomous, but it still does a good job for people that commute, you know, e either in traffic or like me, where you have very little traffic and it's just a straight shot of boring highway, you know, it, it, it's worth it to use it. Um, I don't, I don't feel unsafe with it. You know, it does what it's supposed to do. It hasn't, hasn't had a time where it's made me like have to take over because it didn't do something right. Um, it just does what it's supposed to do and it does it pretty good. So, you know, for anyone that has questions or concerns about autopilot, um, you know, hopefully this ease the ease some of your uh, concern a little bit. Now, I'm driving a car normally. Um, one thing that autopilot will not do, it's not gonna turn a corner for you. So I gotta do that myself. But hopefully y'all don't like the video and uh, check back here in a little bit. All right, thanks.